Hello and welcome to MathAndSciencePower.com. My name is Joe and I'll be your host. Please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel, commenting on the videos, and rating and sharing the videos with your friends. Also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos. Okay, let's look at another Atwood machine. Okay, same as before, a pulley with a rope, two masses, and this time we're going to say mass A is 20 kilograms and mass B is 3 kilograms. Now you should see that this time it's different from last that the mass on the left is larger so our acceleration this time will be counterclockwise. The acceleration of the system is counterclockwise. Okay so each block has a weight. The weight of A is equal to the mass of A times gravity which is 20 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared and that gives us 196 newtons and the weight of B is equal to the mass of B times gravity which is 3 kilograms times 9.8 meters per second squared and that gives us 29.4 newtons. Okay, and again, uh, the forces acting on each block are the weight and the tension in the rope. So the sum of the forces on A will equal the mass of A times the acceleration of the system. So we already know one of the forces is the weight of A and the other force is the tension in the rope. So for block A, the weight is in the direction of acceleration, so we will call the weight positive. The weight of A minus the tension, because it's in the opposite direction, will equal the mass of A times the acceleration of the system. And similarly, for block B, the force on block B will equal the mass of the block times the acceleration of the system and for block B the tension is in the direction of the acceleration of the system so we will have tension minus the weight of B because it's in the opposite direction is equal to the mass of B times the acceleration of the system now we will solve each one of these equations for T I will subtract the weight of A from both sides here and I'll get negative T equals the mass of A times the acceleration of the system minus the weight of A and I don't want this to be negative so I will multiply both sides by negative 1 and I will get T equals negative the mass of A times the acceleration of the system plus the weight of A okay and on the other side here I will add the weight of B to both sides and I will get T equals the mass of B times the acceleration of the system plus the weight of B. Okay, and since both of these equations equal T, that means they must equal each other. So we will get negative the mass of A times the acceleration of the system plus the weight of A equals the mass of B times the acceleration of the system plus the weight of B. Now last time we plugged our numbers into here and then solved for the acceleration of the system. This time I want to solve for the acceleration of the system before we plug our numbers in. So we have two terms here that have AS in it and the other two terms uh, do not have an unknown. So I want to get both of my AS terms to the same side so I'm going to add MA AS here and add MA AS here and that means these will cancel I'm left with WA equals and these are not like terms MB and MA are not the same so I'm left with MA times the acceleration of the system plus the mass of B times the acceleration of the system 
plus the weight of B. And I need to get this weight of B over here with the weight of A. So I'm going to subtract weight of B from both sides. These will cancel. These are not like terms. So I get the weight of A minus the weight of B equals the mass of A times the acceleration of the system plus the mass of B times the acceleration of the system. Okay, and I have a summation here, and they both have a common factor, so I can factor that out, and I'll, this side will stay the weight of A minus the weight of B equals, I'm factoring out the acceleration of the system, and I'm left with the mass of A plus the mass of B. Okay, the acceleration came out of each term. Now to solve for acceleration of the system, I need to divide both sides by the mass of A plus the mass of B. and these will cancel and I'm left with AS equals the weight of A minus the weight of B divided by the mass of A plus the mass of B so here is a general equation for our Atwood machine to solve for the acceleration if you know the mass of each block and it's important to note here that when we solved this time, the acceleration was in a counterclockwise direction. And counterclockwise is usually the direction we take to be positive. So if you use this equation and your acceleration comes out to be positive, it's counterclockwise. If your acceleration comes out to be negative, it's clockwise. So all of your uh, directions here will be changed. The acceleration will actually be clockwise. Okay, so take a moment plug in the numbers and see what answer you get and we'll be back in a moment to check and see if we get the right answers. Welcome back to mathandsciencepower.com my name is Joe uh, please remember that you can help me to help you by subscribing to my channel commenting on the videos and rating and sharing the videos with your friends also remember to visit us online for a complete listing of our videos Okay, so let's plug in our numbers here and solve for the acceleration of the system. The acceleration of the system will equal the weight of A, which is 196 newtons, minus the weight of B, which is 29.4 newtons, divided by the mass of A, 20 kilograms, plus the mass of B, which is 3 kilograms. Okay, we get the acceleration of the system is equal to 166.6 .6 newtons divided by 23 kilograms. And when we divide newtons by kilograms, we will get our acceleration, which I get 7.28 meters per second squared. So there's the acceleration of our system. And then of course you can solve for the acceler you can solve for the tension by plugging your acceleration back into this equation, which I think you can handle. So my name is Joe. Thanks for watching.